Hi everyone, my name is Dennis. I am an architect and an English speaker. This time, we will be discussing some English lessons. But before that, do not forget to subscribe and follow me on social media found on the description. So let's get started. Our topic for today is about conjunctions. We have found that the preposition is a very important connective word. It connects two words and shows what one of them has to do with the other. But the preposition is not the only connective word which we use in English. We have another part of speech which performs an important function as a connective word. Let us notice the following sentence. Men and women struggle for their rights. Can you find a word in this sentence which is a connective word besides the preposition for? Did you notice that little word and? The noun men and the noun women are both subjects of the verb struggle and they are joined by this little connective word end. If we did not have this word, we would have to use two sentences to express our thought. Thus, men struggle for their rights. Women struggle for their rights. But with the use of this connective word and we can combine these two sentences and express it all in one sentence. Men and women struggle for their rights. This word is used in a different manner from the preposition. The preposition connects two words and makes one modify the other. When we say, get the book, on the table, the phrase on the table designates the book just as much as if we had said, get the green book. So, the use of the preposition enables us to show the relation between two words and to make one word describe or modify the other. This little word and in the sentence, men and women struggle for their rights is a connective word also. But it connects two words that are used in the same way, so it is a different sort of connective word from the preposition. Words used in this way are called conjunctions. Conjunction is a word which is taken from the Latin being made up of the Latin word con, which means together, and the Latin verb juncto, which means to join. So, conjunction means literally to join together. A conjunction is a word that connects sentences or parts of sentences. Let us notice the following sentence. The class struggle is waged on the political field and on the industrial field. Here, we have the conjunction and connecting the two phrases on the political field and on the industrial field. Without the use of this connective word, we would have to use two sentences to express these two thoughts. The class struggle is waged on the political field. Again, without the use of this connective word, we would have to use two sentences to express these two thoughts. So, 
a conjunction may be used to connect phrases as well as words. Now, let us notice the following sentences. He will speak, I will listen. He will speak, and I will listen. He will speak, but I will listen. These sentences are joined by different conjunctions, and the conjunction used alters the meaning of the sentence. The conjunction is a very useful part of speech. Without it, we would have many disconnected sentences requiring tiresome repetition of the same words. Like prepositions, there are not many conjunction in English and they are readily recognized. We will study about these conjunctions at length in later lessons. If you consult the following list of these most commonly used, you can easily pick out the conjunctions in your reading. And as, as if, after, although, as soon as. Okay, this time we will have another exercise that you can download for free. And if you are watching on a Facebook group regarding this video, you must download the PDF file on my Facebook profile. Just simply add me on your friends list and you will automatically access the PDF file or the Google Drive link inside the description of this video. Inside this exercise, we will underscore the conjunctions in the following sentences. Notice whether they connect words or phrases or sentences. I repeat, you can download the PDF file of this topic together the full and complete English transcription of this video when you add me on your friends list on Facebook. All right, and that ends our lesson. I hope you like it. Please help us to make more contents and get updates by clicking the subscribe button and add me on your social media accounts. Thank you everyone.